Hello there. Uh, Scott again from Edge Math. Got a question about uh, confidence intervals for the for population means uh, given a sample. So we're given a random sample of heights of trees from a given type of tree, and they're measured in feet. And we're asked to use these to give a confidence interval for the true population mean. So back to be a 95% confidence interval. So we want to take these, and the first thing we need to do is we're estimating the mean, so we need to take the mean of those. We can find the mean of those using a calculator. And let's pop that in. Now we can use an online calculator or We can use an online calculator, so we go to Google and I just use the first one that comes up. It's an easy calculation. Um, and we want to enter the numbers and make sure we've got them spaced properly. Let's see, we need to have commas between them. Uh, make a comma there, commas, 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 that's right. And then we calculate the, we want to calculate the mean. So we're getting the mean is 35.27273. Copy that and paste that in. And then so the mean is that. And then we want the sample standard deviation. That's going to tell, tell us how much that varies. That's 7.175. So we'll need a calculator to do this, unless you're asked to compute by hand, which is uh, a little bit longer to do, but we can. Uh, and then, so we've got this estimate for, like a, this is called a point estimate, so we're using this sample to estimate the overall mean. So it's about 35.27. Three, um, but it has some error in it, and the error is going to be given by. So we've got a formula here. Um, I'm going to take the z value for the 95% level of confidence. That's going to measure how accurate we want it. So a larger z would be a larger interval, so less accurate. Um, times. The sample SD. Actually, I think they call that S in a lot of books. We've got this sample SD here over square root of n. And then we need z for the 95% confidence interval. So we can go to a stat track normal calculator. You just Google stat track S T A T T R E K. And we're going to load that in the normal calculator in just a second. Okay, we've got our normal calculator up. We need the z value for, let's see, this is a 95% confidence interval. So we're looking for the z value. We're going to have a 95% confidence. So that's 95%. And we're looking for the z value. So here's the mean. And then our z value. And so to do that, we need the probability less than z. That's going to include this confidence interval, but it's also going to include what's to the left. Um, and we've got we've got five percent above, five percent below, or five percent above and below. So that's two point five percent below and two point five percent above. So that gives the cumulative probability less than z is a total of 97.5%. So we enter that into um, the calculator, or if, if you're using a calculator, it's inverse normal, or in norm. Uh, that gives us z equals 1.96. And 
so 1.96 times, then we put in the sample standard deviation, 7.175 over square root of, however many are the samples, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 in the sample. And then we calculate that. Um, for the second part, I'm getting the second part on here. I'm getting uh, 4.05 for that. 4.06. So we're going to do 35.273 plus or minus 4.05. So we add that and subtract that, and that will give the two endpoints of the confidence interval. So, great. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and hope you have a great day.